Yes, today I'm bringing you a Photoshop tutorial, which is a little bit different from my usual Premiere or After Effects tutorials, but don't worry because they're still going to be back. I'm also going to be bringing vlogs back soon just because it's summer. I have a lot more time, so be ready for a lot more uploads because we're really going to be going hard in the summer trying to get this channel up there. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. Anyways, let's get right into this tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add and remove um, tattoos in Photoshop. And I'm actually I'm actually happy I'm doing a Photoshop tutorial because Photoshop was the start of my editing in as a whole. So there wouldn't be any video editing, there wouldn't be any of that without Photoshop starting. And uh, I even used GIMP, which is a free version of Photoshop, before I even knew how to use Photoshop. So I've been doing editing on Photoshop for over like eight years. Okay, so. Here we have a picture of Megan Fox. On the left, this is the original picture right here. This is her normal, this is her actual tattoo. And on the right, this is what I've edited. Um, as you can see, I removed the tattoo. It's a little bit sloppy, but I kind of did it quick. Um, but as you can see, it's just, it, it looks good. Like you wouldn't notice it at first glance. And if I really wanted to, I could go in and touch it up. And um, as, as you see right here, I've also gone in and added another tattoo onto her arm. And that looks pretty realistic. So um, let's get right into this. So what we're gonna do is close this. And we're going to get rid of all the layers uh, I used to make that. And I'm just going to take this soil showing you how to do one or the other. But I'm just going to put both of them into one video and try and make it as quick as possible. So follow, on as, follow along as best as possible. Pause the video if you have to. Ways you can get rid of this. Um, the first is going to be the smudge tool. You can come over here and just smudge it over like that. And the second is going to be... Second is going to be the spot healing brush tool. So this basically, um, you don't have to pick a spot, but you can just slide it over and it just automatically um, picks what it thinks it should look like by blending it all together. So I'm just going to go through and carefully do that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So there you go. I so what we're going to do is I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. And then I'm going to show you the next um, step. So come over here to your smudge tool. If you don't see it, it's, in, um, it's under the blur tool this thing. And then I'm going to break this big and just smudge a little bit. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna paint the skin uh, with a regular brush. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna make a new layer right above this. Oops, new layer right above that. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna color pick whatever color right here. And I'm going to color that on. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the flow. I'm gonna make the flow 20% and that's very important so make sure you do that because that way it's not it's not looking as much as a brush it's looking as it's kind of it, it looks like it's kind of like see right here where it's kind of like faded it's like that it's kind of just like applying light light touches and not full brush strokes so change the color kind of blend that all in now we have the colors down and it's a little bit more blended but you can see it still looks pretty choppy that what you have to do is just make a new layer like this come over here to your rectangular marquee tool I think it's called um, put a box over it and then we're just gonna right click it and click fill and we're going to and we're gonna make it 50% gray so click OK like that and for some reason it didn't make an overlay so I'm just gonna click and make that overlay myself okay so what that's doing is it's just giving us a nice thing to apply effects onto without putting them onto the brush layer and because it's on 50% gray and overlay it's just going to be visible it's just going to be invisible so you'll see what i mean whenever i do this so now that i have that i can just click filter right here i'm going to go up and i'm going to add some noise and you can click monochromatic so that there's no color or you can make it so that there is color i'm just going to make it so there's no color and i'm going to make this about let's see what 5% looks like 5% looks pretty good okay so Next, what I'm going to do is filter. I'm going to go to stylize and I'm going to emboss it. I'm going to emboss it by about 60%. I'm going to click OK. It's starting to look a little bit better, a little bit more lifelike. So that's good. But this area right here is kind of bothering me. So I came back in with my body healing brush and just cleaning up some of these um, edges and shadows like that so make sure you really take your time with this because the more time you spend with it um, the better quality it's going to end up being in the very end so kind of just run it over the edges like that smooth everything out so I cleaned up the smudge a little bit and I cleaned out the shadows and uh, the final touch I did was I changed this brush layer to screen so that just kind of lightened it up and made it blend a little bit better so it's nice so I'm going to show you guys how to put a tattoo on the arm so so all you have to do is uh, search for a tattoo that you want 
this picture of the Canadian leaf. Copy that, and I'm going to drag that over here into Photoshop like this. And then first off, we're just going to take our magic wand tool and just cut out as much as we can get. Like that. I'm going to select deselect, and they're gone. Okay, so now we have our isolated tattoo. So I'm going to pick where I want to put this, and I'm going to put it right about wherever the tattoo was, wherever the old tattoo was, just to make it even better. Do it like that. And I'm going to press OK. OK, so now we're going to go over and we're going to put this on multiply like that. And that's already starting to look a little bit better. Uh, we're just going to select it and we're going to go to curves. And we're just going to bump up the lights. Like that. Give it a nice kind of faded look. The more faded I found, the better and more realistic it looks. But not too faded. But like that is pretty good. You can even raise the shadows up a bit. Like that. And there you go. So I don't want you to think this is just an editing channel, but the purpose for me doing stuff like this is because I really want to tie it into all aspects of music, all aspects of like music video creation, graphic design, artwork um, for like mixtape covers and stuff like that. So I'm going to do like speed arts for mixtape covers. I'm going to do behind the scene vlogs for music videos that I shoot. Um, tutorials, breakdowns, the usual stuff that I've been doing except a lot more vlogs just so you guys can get the personal side of me because I don't want to consider myself just an editing YouTuber, I want to consider myself a YouTuber and I want to give my fan base not just editing tutorials that help them which is like kind of like the backbone of my channel like I love doing that but I also want to give them the personality behind it so they can see the person behind it and they can see how I apply my own tutorials to my own work and my own creations so Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to be putting out some vlogs soon, like I've been talking about. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.